Here we're going to talk about the define name option in Excel. So in the formulas tab, this is where we find that button. I've got a formula here put in cell B5 that references the annual percentage rate that's given to us in cell B1. This reference is absolute and the formula is dragged downwards to give us an updated compounded interest rate going through all the different years. In certain formulas, especially when we've got absolute cell references, it could be a good idea to just define the name of that cell instead. Uh, so the way that we do that, I'll just put the focus on the cell in question, click on define name. Excel, if it sees an obvious label beside that cell, it often gives you the uh, default option or the hint to use that particular label. I'm just going to use APR, click OK, and from here on, any time where I put in an equals and using a formula, I can refer to that cell by the label. As soon as I put in that label, it is essentially the same as putting in the cell reference. It doesn't automatically update formulas that I've already written before I define the name. You can see here that that cell reference is still B1. But if I want to apply this APR label across all pre-written formulas, I can do so by just dropping down that menu and clicking on apply names. And you can see that APR now exists instead of the absolute relative or rather the absolute cell reference that was there before. Using define names, it's handy that I don't have to always click away to different cells, especially if they're on a different worksheet and the APR or the define name will work on different worksheets as well. And it also makes reading of formulas that little bit more easy when I can see labels inserted in a formula rather than just cell references. And that's how to use the define name option in Excel.